in one of cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after taking the altar of the horned rat. Uh, I mean, sacking the altar of the horned rat. We haven't quite taken it yet. Hopefully next turn. And hopefully, Ronin here knows to keep his grubby mitts to himself and respect my dibs. Even though I didn't actually say that, but still. I mean, the fact that I assaulted it um, should be dibs enough, right? So Adam, I think let's get you prepared to attack the marks of the old one. Wait. That's going to take two turns? How does that take two... Oh, the woods. I see. Um... Wait. So, if you go into March Stance, you're not going to be able to get there anyways. I see. Alright, um... Interesting situation. Hmm... Yeah, I guess we're good with this turn. Ronin, please. Listen to me. I'll give you whatever you want, except, you know, anything. So just stay away, if that makes any sense. You know what? It's fine. I'm hoping that we don't have to go to war with Clan Pestilence. And he's buggered off. Wow. Okay, Clan Spittle wants to get a peace treaty. Um, I'm gonna say no, because I'm so, so very close to crushing you. Like a cracker over soup. Fantastic, so we've got the occupied elven colony. The wars mm. to come will be fought using guile as well as brawn. Consider expanding your facilities to permit the recruitment of heroes, my lord. Heroes can be hired to support your forces or to strike against the enemy. Gee, you mean like Bail Quint over here? That I've been using this entire time? Great, thanks, um, advisor guy. Uh... So we need to have a Pox Cauldron, Assassin's Hideout, or a Construction Cavern. Lord Master, this plan to take the Vortex, there are plenty of opportunities for failure and blame. Build things to lure heroes, if they perform well. The glory is yours for, for, for recruiting them. If they fail, then they take the blame. Yes, yes. Fantastic. All right, uh, let me know if you guys are getting sick of my Skaven voice. My shadow, <laughs> I will go on forever, if allowed. Um... So I'd say let's go for the Warpstone Tractor Beam. It's going to take five turns? Huh. Alright, well I guess we might as well get started early. And we'll get the underdogs to increase our income. Hmm, what about the Obsidian Quarry? Oh. Eventually it'll get to Untainted uh, 2. Um, not great. But I think we might want to. What is this? Oh, these are the walls. Spelunking holes. Oh, right. Skaven under cities un under our own cities. Um, arcane generators. Income from all buildings in this region. Wow. That is quite awesome. Mm, but I'd say let's go for the obsidian quarry. Sure. And we can upgrade this as well. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, I guess. What about you, Martha of uh, Quiveza? Go for it, sure. We're not quite as rich as we once were, which is unfortunate. Um, hmm. Should we? Wait. Hold on. Why is your movement range so low? What? Didn't we just start this turn? What is going on here? What the hell? Is it because he moved extra last turn? Hmm. Weird. Weird and off-putting. Alright, um... I guess we might as well give this banner to someone. Wait. Do you have melee attack? You do. Of course, considering that you're melee. I don't know why I asked that question. You know what? Pretend I never spoke. Pretend this episode never even started. Let's just give it to, um, Icky Claw here. Uh, we will auto-resolve this shit. Thank you. And how much food do we get? I guess we'll never know. Um, do we want to... Whoa. Really? Level 4? Holy crap. That's a little excessive, though. I think... I do like being in this, because that gives us some bonuses. So let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's leave it at uh, level... Level surplus food. Sure. Ben. What? 
What just happened? Why did that? Oh, I see. So the maximum went up. So because we stayed at 71, we have less percentage. Ah, okay. I didn't know that the, um, uh, that taking all these places actually, uh, increased the maximum, uh, food storage. Which I guess makes sense, because I think we started out at, uh, 100, if I'm not mistaken. And we have four extra settlements, so, yeah, that checks out. That makes sense. Too much sense, one would say. Hmm. Mission successful. Fantastic. Wait. Uh, when I succeed the missions, do they update the description? No, right? I don't think so. Alright, well, we've taken the altar of the Horned Rat and ensure that the following building has been deconstructed. The Warpstone Deposit. Such magnificence! All shall tremble before Ikit! Even the Horned Rat would chitter at your aggression! I feel like these are kind of big words for a Skaven. Like, all, and before, or now, or you? I don't think they understand these concept concepts. Maybe it's a, um, enlightened Skaven. You must now act quickly, my master. Look at the warpstone deposit and begin to mine it. Yes, yes. You know what? I think, uh, I think that's gonna be my new Skaven voice. Yep. That's it. I've settled on a new Skaven voice. It's gonna be an enlightened Skaven, as it turns out. Uh, because he's giving me advice and uh, missions on all that crap, right? Has to be. Ikit, let's get you... Hmm... Retractable arm blade. Fire and magic resistance. Speed and charge bonus. Or... More health points. Um, or do we want to go with something like magic-wise? I'd say... Hmm... I don't know how much of a powerhouse he can become. But... Let's go with the retractable arm blade, because I really want adrenaline rush. Wait, can I only choose one or the other? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, usually you'd see the uh, chain thing, right? I guess we'll find out. So replenishes hit uh, points of combatants. Second wind serum, and that's only when casting. What about adrenaline rush? Oh, turns out adrenaline rush isn't that awesome because it's only while casting well i mean i you know what sure whatever i guess all right so this is the warp stone deposit that they wanted me to build gotcha do we want to go with that right now or hmm maybe let's go with yeah you know what go with the warp stone deposit That'll take five turns, so we might as well get started sooner rather than later. Uh, are we good? I think we are. Uh, equipment gained. Wait. You already have that, then? You do not. Who has the engineering student? Adam? No. What? Or, oh, it's, oh, I see. It's only this guy that can get the, uh, thing. Alright, sure, why not? I guess that kind of makes sense, considering he's a warlock engineer type dude, right? And I think we're... Good. Mmm... Can I recruit? I cannot. Alright, well, you can't really move right now, so I guess there's no point in doing anything with you. Alright, we're good then. Sure, why not? Mmm... So I think Marks of the Old Ones is... Uh, another settlement within the uh, region here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we now have strict. Spent multiple turns in a settlement with low public order. Oh, I guess that is kind of low. And Axolotl is getting even worse. Fuming Serpent is starting to get, uh, unruly too. Hmm. Alright. Adam, I'd say I think you should be alright to just take this by yourself. Wait, his name is Science Surge? Nice. Go for it, buddy. Go for it. Huh. Do we want to get Ikit involved in this? We should be able to march there in one turn. You know what? We might as well just help out. Sure. Go for it. Storm Demon. What? The fuck are you talking about, Ikit? Good job, guys. How much food did we get? We got... Oh. 18 food. Nice. Go, go, cannibalism. I love it. 
Thank you. We'll sack this shit. And Science Surge is, of course, dead as shit. Yes! I'm so glad that you can take this. Uh... Hmm... Maybe for Marks of the Old One, because it's not a uh, big settlement, we'll just go with level 1? Sure. Why not? Headhunter's Jungle is secured, and Clan Spittle is... Uh... Destroyed. <laughs> Sorry, trying to find a fancy word besides destroyed, but um, I failed. I failed miserably, as it turns out. Okay, so, yeah. Wait. Oh, I see. So it's only we can, act we can actually highlight these things as the uh, chain thing appear. Okay, uh, well then let's go for corruptive. Sure. Madment. Um, I think maybe growth? Or do we want to go go with exploitative planning? Because we do generate food this way. Growth is nice though. But is it really necessary for us right now? You know what? I think so. Because we kind of need to expand or build stuff rather quickly. And I think I might need to move um, Ikit back up there to uh, stabilize that region. Listen, dude. I know this is a mistake, so I'm just going to let you off the hook. But uh, stop pillaging my lands and get the fuck out of here. Alright, so Bale Quint, I'm going to give you Rax Call. Causes major magical damage, medium move, uh, forward moving area of, of effect. Good against armor, strong versus multiple units. Weak versus a single combatant. Cleansing Ruin. Um, what's this? Direct damage area. So, okay. Causes damage to uh, combatants. Strong versus a single combatant. Chance the opponent will resist damage and weak versus a single unit. I see. And it does reduce their armor. Hmm. I think let's go with Crack's Call. Yeah. I guess if we're up against the lizard men, we should probably go for something that can do um, high damage to uh, single combatants because, you know, they're dinos and all that such, right? Probably a good idea, I would say. For money, we're actually doing quite well. Um, it might not be the worst idea to pop out another army? Or is it, in fact, the worst idea ever? Hmm. Now, my question is... Whom do we target next? Itza does seem like the natural target, but uh, I don't know how powerful they are in comparison to me. So we are rank 29, and Itza is rank 20. Hmm. I know how powerful Gorok can be, so... I'm a little worried, not gonna lie. Alright, with uh, Clan Pestilence though, we'll get that trade agreement. I guess we could also get that defensive agreement? Now, they are currently at war with the Spine of Sotek Dwarves. I don't know if they'll actually ask me to join in with this fight. Hmm. Do we want military access? Maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll try to um, get them to ask us instead. Now, Zlan Hopek is almost dead. So, if we can get our dudes in there to uh, take advantage of that, this could work. What if we use these Skaven Underways? Yeah. And then we just kind of circumnavigate the... Um, or does that actually still count as trespassing? Uh, I guess we'll find out. But, um... Hmm... I kind of wish I had easier targets, you know? But, I guess it kind of makes sense that this would be hard. We are Skaven after all, so... <laughs> Fuck. Alright, that's fine. We might look into possibly getting another army out. Because right now, Adam is uh, spending 1330. Uh, Ikit is spending 1847, so I'm assuming that uh, another army uh, fielded by someone similar to Adam, or in terms of a uh, unique composition, will probably be spending the same amount of money. Yeah, I think for now, we can probably... I think I'll actually leave Adam here for the time being, uh, just to... You know what, actually, Adam? Why don't you get out of there? Do some raiding on our own lands, and then we'll try to uh, trigger the um, rebellion and uh, farm them for food. Because we did that with the uh, with the dark elves, and we farmed slaves that way. So maybe it'll work for um, Skaven as well. And then I think with Ikit, maybe we'll get Bailquin to head to that region. Because actually, you know what? 
we might be able to summon another unit ourselves. Let's see. Can we get ourselves a hero? We cannot. You make me sad. All right, fine. Uh, can I build anything in these places? Nope. It seems that's about it. Great. You know what? I think with Axolotl, I might as well uh, summon another... Not summon, but basically that's what we're doing. We might as well trigger another uh, rebellion here and then just get that over with. So that we can get some food, experience points, and also loot. Not that we're... You know, a scheme of doing terribly economically. Has been concocted by your devious engineers, my lord. Laden one with explosives and have him visit your enemy. Doom will come upon them. Really? The scheme of doom? Yes, yes, the scheme of doom. A great doom. Send an agent of Scryer to cause great calamity on the things. Sure. Always more besides. Oh, right, our technology. And the Headhunter's Jungle is about to explode. Fantastic. Uh, we might as well get the Nest Layer made. Wait, but they're going to be spawning next to the Altar of the Horned Rat, right? So I guess we should probably get close to that region. Um, yeah, there we go. And that should still be a rebellion. Yeah, we just need 13, basically. Um, oh, reduction of upkeep. Or do we want to make our skin or uh, clan rats a little bit more beefy? Mm, let's go for expendable for clan rat units. What? What is expendable? What is that trait? I forget what it is, but it's something significant. Um, let's go for the uh, skaven slaves for the time being. Wait. So what does exp? Witnessing friendly expendable units uh, route does not uh, reduce other units. Oh, I see. Wait. So if we make them expendable, then once they see the Skaven Slaves book it, then they'll want to start booking it too. Ah. Uh, huh. Interesting. Not sure if I like that, but I guess... Wait, does that technology actually reduce the cost of the, um, clan rats? It does not. No. We should be alright, though. Maybe at that point we just phase out uh, Skaven Slaves. I think we might need to, eventually. Um, but for now, Adam, let's get you more corruption by rubbing a whole bunch of, um, grotelated, uh, what's it, blue cheese on your grundle. Which is, of course, how the, uh, Skaven... Do their whole corruption dance. And it's gonna take four turn four turns? Really? Dang nabbit. Ah shiitake mushrooms. Fuck. <laughs> I done goofed. I'm so sorry. I done goofed. Um Alright, you know what? I'd say let's just uh, at this point get close to their uh territory and see how far we need to go. Hmm, a lot farther than I thought we would need to go. All right, that's fine, I guess. Then maybe after Adam's done uh, destroying the rebellion here, he can swing up to um, trigger one in uh, this region. Sure, why not? So what exactly does this scheme of doom do? A unique warlock engineer hero capable of targeting a foreign settlement to either establish an undercity or cause a catastrophic earthquake there will be summoned at your faction's capital. And it only costs 800 buckaronis. 30 turn cooldown, though. I think... Damages the walls and buildings of the target settlement. This action will kill the Warlock Engineer. Establish Warlock Laboratory. Establish an undercity beneath the target settlement and instantly create a laboratory building. Hmm... Okay, so... Actually, should have addressed this sooner. It turns out that uh, building the um, capturing the settlement above destroy the destroys the under empire our own under empire. So I guess we can't have our uh, have an under empire our, under our own thing or something. I don't know. I honestly have no idea still. Um, or maybe it's just the condition at which uh, the settlement was taken or some. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll figure it out. Um. Hmm. As much as I'd like to take Kretza, 
if even if we were to use our hero and um, we could remain neutral with the Itza um, after we cause an earthquake in the Kretza, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to uh, take it for ourselves to be able to um, destroy this. So maybe we should just get an Under Empire set up. So is there like a cooldown or Under Empire stuff or not? Wait. Public order is not affected by chaos or vampiric cr Really? Wow. I had no idea that uh, Skaven didn't care about vampiric corruption. Interesting. I'm assuming that the armies will stake, uh, will stake t uh, still take uh, attrition though. Hmm. Alright, well, um... If that's the only hero that, that we can recruit, I think we're just gonna wait. Yeah, you know what? That's enough dawdling. Let's just wait. We'll just get a, uh, another, um... What's it? Hero pumped out? And then we'll send them to a set up an Ender Empire in the in Kretza, rather than have to wait another 30 year, uh, fucking years. Such idle whiskers, get to work, fool. Secrets to be found, new knowledge, new innovations to be discovered that you must only share with me. me. Bring, build this thing so rich search can begin. Right. Don't we already have a mission to build your one of those things? Subjects here have taken up arms against your rule. My foolish advisor My has. The enemy raid your lands and slaughter your denizens. My advisor, shut the fuck up. Thank you. Good grief. All right, that's fine. Uh, Adam, annihilate, please. What? Really? That's... Those are not inspiring odds. Why is that? We outnumber them by a lot. Don't do this to me. Wow, we lost a lot of dudes. Surprisingly, a lot of dudes. Huh. That's fine though, because Adam's just here to, um, you know, watch over things and all that such. Wait. Hmm. How often are we going to need to do this? Because it's not the corruption. Military cracked. Wait. Oh, it is the Skaven corruption. Oh, I see. Um, what can we do to counteract that? Because I kind of scared that we're going to have like constant uh, rebellions here. Hmm. I'd say though, for the time being, Adam, let's get you over to Axolotl. And uh, we'll get you situated there while you regenerate and all that such. Alright, so if I use the underway. Oh, it is trespassing. I see. Uh, not great. Um, maybe we can get a non-aggression or a military access pack with this guy. Probably not. Hmm. You know what? I think we're just gonna have to, um, send a hero out there. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Then how about for now, Icket, you just raid Axlotl. Yeah, let's just get you guys both to uh, raid this place and trigger or something there. In the meantime, go ahead and upgrade this shit, get some more corruption, and uh, more dinosaur eggs, I guess. Sure. Money is money, I guess. Uh, damn it. I might need to um, destroy those and uh, build something else later on, but for now, I'd say we're okay. So, in terms of our neighbors, who's the weakest? Uh, at least weaker than me. So My right now, Luthu Harkin eh? might not be a terrible, terrible target, considering that he's only got two settlements, um, and he is slightly weaker than me. Mm, Nakai is, I'm assuming, uh, doing his own stuff. Clan Popek seems to have gotten uh, stronger all of a sudden. Defenders of the Great Plant. Yeah, that's not. We're, let's not worry about that nonsense. Maybe Lokir Felhart. He's got four settlements. If we can maybe pump out another army, uh, we might be able to take on Loke here. And possibly even um, this guy. But wait, so supply lines. Uh, it would be nice to know how much additional upkeep we would be spending if we were to get another army out. Because I only see what's current, but does it go up by 7% every single time? 
Hmm. So we're spending an additional 222 buckaronis. Huh. Alright. Well. Not gonna lie. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Especially with Itza being so, um, close to us and, uh, so hating of my existence and all that such. But, oh, someone's taking a sort of cane. Workshop upgraded. All your efforts gathering specimens and field data, whether or not by questionable means, have not been wasted. The Forbidden Workshop has now been upgraded. The new engineering bay's advanced equipment and facilities now enable the research of new parts. That's great. So, I guess that means that we can upgrade new stuff here? Oh, it totally does. Oh, that's what got upgraded. I see. Alright, so, reach 15 rank with a Warlock Engineer. 15 rank with a... Uh, Warlock Master, and build a construction cavern. WTF is a construction cavern. Where is that? Ah, there we go. Alright, so it's that thing. Um, except we can't build it right now because we don't have enough space, as it turns out. Well, the untainting is about to get a lot strong. Well, a little bit stronger, so... You might see a slight untainting of this region, but, eh, that's fine. Alright, so that's done. Fantastic. We might as well get this thing uh, made as well too, right? Sure. Increase our warp stone generation and all that such. Alright, so the public order is going down ever so slightly, but hopefully not enough to uh, be a huge problem. Alright, so two turns. Gotcha. Wait, what's the capital? It, it is Axolotl. Okay. Uh, any chance I can get a hero out? No? Fuck, what building do I need to get a hero? Wait. Don't I have a thing here? No. What? I don't need 50 million of those. Do I? Shit. Well, actually, you know what? Take it while you're here. Oh. Well, it's gonna take two turns regardless, I guess. So what if you not raid? So that'll be three turns. Hmm. Hmm. What's more important? Um. You know what? Just keep raiding. Sure. We'll trigger the uh, rebellion, uh, crush their faces, um, get some more food and money, and then afterwards we'll uh, get Ikid to pump out some new. Um, What's it? Clan rats with uh, shields and all that such. You know the guys that we uh, dismissed. Stupidly. Yes, what? Yes. Clan Pestilence as Federated Clan Mange? Son of 50 million dickholes shoved inside of 50 million other dickholes. Oh my goodness. That is disgusting. The f Confederation thing, not the uh, dickhole stuff inside of other... By what? The oh, these guys are much stronger than me? How did that happen? What in the fuck? Come on, man. I don't understand this cruel world I was born into, as it turns out. All right, so I think now we might be able to recruit. Is that right? Yes, we can. Uh, So let's see. I think I might need to get rid of one Skaven slave. We might as well get rid of this guy. And we'll have room for one more clan rat with uh, shields and one more with spears. Gotcha, so it all balances out. Let's see. Spears and shields. Thank you. What about you, Adam? You good? Mmm, yeah. I mean, we could merge your troops up a little bit more and whatnot, but um, that's fine. Uh, Adam, you're good? Let's see. Ticket, let's get you... Double insulation? Or do we want to go with something here? Oh, we should definitely do this. Alright, so do we want to get 3% more income from looting settlements or 3% reduction to the recruitment cost? Let's go for... Mm, I guess... Looting... I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter because we can always uh, change it later on, even though we only get the I one shot. Mm, all right, so I think that's good for now. All right, so we are making a decent more money, so let's go ahead and maybe get ourselves a Gracier instead. Sneaky. Gracier Ruin. Uh, 
reduces upkeep of all the warp stone related dudes. Or confident increases leadership in all units and army, which is nice. Or do we want to go for another warlock? Ma Wait, I don't think we have a single. Do we have a warlock master? Are you considered a warlock master, Aki Claw? What is your deal here exactly? Wait, is this guy gonna count towards the uh, needing to get the warlock master thing um, raised up? Or not? I do not know. Um. Hmm. Can I see what these guys are about? Like, can I see their skill tree before I invest? Alright, so they're basically Ikit Claw. I see. Okay, well, um, I'm hoping that Ikit is going to be enough to count for that, but if not, then... I guess we'll just have to deal with that accordingly. Then maybe... We go with Chant? The Plague Seer? You know what? How about I think on this and then we'll decide in our next episode. Yeah, I think that makes more sense, and then I'll also set these places to, uh, build their shit up and all that stuff. Wait. Yeah, we'll do that in our next episode, I guess. Because, um... I guess the rebellion that spawns is going to be fairly weak, but still. We'll take care of that tomorrow, too. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast!